Do you want to produce crazy results for your Facebook ad clients? Uh, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to run you through the process of generating a ton of leads, a ton of customer opportunities for your clients using mini chat and Facebook ads. So we're going to go ahead and jump into my computer. I'm going to get right into it. No fluff. I'm going to show you guys how to set these campaigns up and how to drive crazy results for your clients. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer right now. Hey guys. So we are in the computer now, clearly. And I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to jump right into this. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be setting up a Facebook ad and connecting it to mini chat. So if you don't have a mini chat account, go over to minichat.com. It's free. Um, the pro version is 10 bucks a month right now, but um, I suggest getting pro it's only 10 bucks a month. And there's a lot more features that you're going to need um, that come in, come in handy. So I would go ahead and get a pro account. I'm going to be doing this on a free account right now, just cause um, it doesn't really matter, but get the pro account and uh, you can do this with free, but get the pro account anyway. So minichat.com, what this allows us to do is it allows us to connect the Facebook messenger app to um, this app and it allows us to create sequences. So we can basically automate um, a lot of processes with um, with these chatbots. So we can have people enter giveaways. We can have people um, who are trying to book appointments with your clients. Um, a lot of different stuff. It allows us to automate the entire process. You set it up one time and it works for you. So um, I'm not going to go into a lot of the details here of mini chat. I'll be making a different video kind of going through the basics of mini chat. Um, but for right now, we're going to just focus on this campaign. So what we're going to be doing is a giveaway campaign. So this is, you have to have a really strong offer. So basically what this Facebook ad is going to be is it's going to be, um, like if you've ever seen Chick-fil-A, um, or Kane's chicken, what they'll do is when they first open a new location, they will do, um, a crazy contest and it's like a, it's a giveaway. And what they'll do is for everybody that, you know, camps out and stays overnight and comes in right when they open the doors of a grant for a grand opening of a new location, they'll allow a certain amount of people. They'll give them a card that will give them uh, free food for a year. So it's like one meal for 52 weeks. So this works really well with restaurants, something very similar to that, which would be like a free entree for a year, free food for a year, uh, works for coffee shops. What I'm doing right now, my campaign that's absolutely killing it is for a gym. And, uh, you could, you could also do, um, like a free membership for six months, something like that. And you're really just going to give this away to one person. So, you know, you have to kind of find the value there, see how much it's worth to the potential, um, to, to your client and kind of find, um, a good medium, a good offer, a really, really strong offer that a lot of people are going to be interested in. So for, for our giveaway, we're doing a thousand dollars uh, worth of free stuff. So it's like supplements, free training for you and a friend, um, a couple gift cards, a bunch of t-shirts, water bottles, workout guides, stuff like that. It's a really, really strong offer. So come up with a really, really strong offer first. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to post this ad on your client's Facebook page, and you're going to connect that post to this chat bot. So I'm going to jump in and show you guys how we're going to do this. So if you're not familiar with the mini chat, um, platform and you want more information, mini chat has some, has like a training course, um, on how to use all their features. I'll also be putting out something going over all of these features and kind of showing you more in depth what they do. But again, we're just going to focus on this. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to growth tools. Okay. And on growth tools, we're going to do a new growth tool. Okay. So we're, let's do, let's delete this one. You can't have more than four on a free version. So we're going to hit more, uh, new growth tool. So these are all the different widgets. Uh, widgets are things like you add on to a website, um, more, but you know, buttons, boxes, slide ins, things like that. But here's what we're going to focus on these other growth tools. So there's a couple different schools of thought here and things you can do. Typically people will go with Facebook comments because it can make things go very viral. So that's what we're doing currently. So what the Facebook comments growth tool does is when someone comments on a post, your chat bot will interact with that person who posted. So I don't know if you've ever seen those posts before where it says, you know, comment this keyword or comment, I want it and I'll send you a message or we'll send you a message, whatever. 
And what happens is that Facebook comment will trigger this chat bot. It'll trigger mini chat to send that person a message. So another one we can use is messenger ref URL. So what that one is, is it's a link. So you'll put this link into the, uh, the ad on the Facebook post and people will click that button. The only problem with this one is that um, when the screen pops up for when someone messages, or so when the Facebook page messages the person that commented, um, they'll have to hit the get started button at the bottom. So there's kind of a layer of friction there. So a lot of people don't really like that one, but if you put that in your ad copy and you say like, you know, make sure you hit get started when we send you a message, that helps. But again, that's kind of a layer of friction. So Facebook comments is really, really strong here. So what this also allows us to do is it allows us to kind of create a viral post where a lot of people are engaging. It creates that social engagement um, that people see, they want to get in on it, and it helps your post uh, with the algorithm. So we're going to focus on Facebook comments. So you go ahead and click this and it will take us through the process. So you're going to have a button here that is going to allow you to select the post. Okay. When you click that, it's going to take you into the different posts on your Facebook page and just go ahead and select the one, the Facebook ad that you're going to run. Okay. So once you've done that, scroll down, click this box. This just confirms that you're going to be sending messages to people on the messenger app. And, uh, First level comments, this is, this will only track people who actually comment on the post, not replies. So if someone tags a friend and the friend comes on and replies to their message, it's not going to send them our auto response message. Only if that person comments on our post. Okay. So if you want more like high intent people, people that are actually engaging on your post, go ahead and turn this on. Um, if you just want as many people, whoever comments on the post at all, go ahead and keep it off. Okay. Uh, we want the messages to send immediately. We can exclude comments and we can also only trigger comments with these certain keywords. So a very important thing to keep in mind here is if your Facebook post says, you know, comment I'm in or comment I want it to, you know, get the message sent to them, you have to include those keywords here. But the thing to keep in mind is you have to have every single variation of the word or phrase because people will misspell. They won't include apostrophes. They'll put double spaces. So you have to make sure if you're going to have the auto response only trigger when you have a keyword, you have to make sure you have every single variation for, for this, for this phrase. So I just, you know, if we're doing, I'm in, you know, I'm in without the apostrophe, I'm in with the apostrophe, I'm in without or with double spaces, like you have to have every single version of this phrase that people can accidentally type, you know, misspell it, whatever, because people will do it. Trust me, it happens a lot. So make sure you have every variation of that, of that phrase here. Hit next. Oh, let me save it first. Hit next. Okay. Now auto response. So guys, for sake of time, I've already kind of put this stuff in here just so that I can speed this up a little bit, but just rewatch it and, and look at kind of what I'm saying and just use it yourself or use a variation of what I'm doing here. So, um, this is the auto response message. So when people comment on the Facebook post, they say, I'm in, this is the message they're going to get from our bot. So, you know, Hey, first name and to, to put in this first name right here, you just click right here where this little like person icon is, and you can choose from, uh, from these and it'll pull it in from Facebook. So thanks so much for your interest in our giveaway to confirm you're a real person and not a bot. Do you mind typing I'm in one more time? So what this is going to do for us is it's going to get them subscribed to our bot and it's going to send our opt-in sequence. Okay. And a subscriber is super important. It's very similar to an email subscriber. So if you've ever subscribed to an email list or uh, whatever you get messages, marketing messages in your email, that's essentially what we're doing here, but it's on the messenger app. So now this business can send out uh, promotions, other giveaways, uh, deals, value videos, information, whatever. Once they're a subscriber, we can send them whatever we want, as much as we want, as long as they don't unsubscribe. So very important. Uh, these things just reiterate that. But uh, moving on, hit next. And this is our opt-in message. So we're going to want to collect, uh, sorry, we're going to want to select this middle one right here, send to everyone who replies. So when they reply to our auto response message with I'm in now they're a subscriber. Now they're going to get sent the opt-in message. 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and click edit right here. This is the opt-in message. I've already built this out because this is the exact flow that I'm using for one of my campaigns. But for sake of time, I just kind of want to show you guys um, what this looks like and, and kind of what you should replicate and use for your campaigns. Um, it may start you out here in the basic builder. I don't suggest using the basic builder. It's... Um, it just doesn't, it's not as easy. It's not as user friendly. So right up here in the right corner, click the flow builder. This looks much, much better. Okay. We're going to zoom in here so we can see what's going on. And I'll walk you through this. I'm not going to go through every single thing in here, but I'm going to give you guys the basics, how to do this and kind of the ideas that should be floating around in your head for you to use in your campaigns. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this first one right here. And, uh, this is our text boxes and our buttons right here. So for text, all you have to do is select text right here. Um, delays are very important as well. That just delays the, the typing. So it looks like someone is actually typing uh, to the person, like the page is actually typing to that person. So buttons, you know, you just add a button in here and then you select an action that's going to happen when the button's pressed. So typically you're going to do send a message or, you know, open website or, or phone number, but, um, we're going to delete that real quick. So that's pretty easy, you know, text boxes, delays, things like that. So thanks. Now to get you entered, I just need to ask you a few questions. Are you ready? They click this button and it takes them into the sequence. Now this is where we collect their email and their phone number because they're in a giveaway. So we need to collect their info so we can um, call them. And now we have, we have their email, we can call them. And this is all collected into a database. So we want to use a text box here. And then we want to have a, a free keyboard input. Now the free keyboard input uh, feature I think is only available for pro. So you need to have pro for this. Um, but what we're going to do is, um, scroll down here. You'll see the, uh, user input right here. Yeah. See, it's a pro, it's a pro feature. So we want to put that right here so that when they, we ask them what their email is, uh, Facebook will actually auto populate their email. So, uh, what I like to do though, is I like to confirm that email. So I ask them, is the email below, uh, correct? And if not, please type another one. So what I'm doing here is I'm allowing them to just click that email or enter a different one. And um, when you do the free keyboard input, just go ahead and hit reply type email. Okay. And then save response to a custom field. We definitely want to do this because this is going to allow us to save people's emails and phone numbers uh, into basically a profile on ManyChat. So you are going to be able to go back at any point and access their phone number or email. So make sure you do that. Um, all you do for that is you do, whoops, you just type in like email or for this, I'm just going to put like test email T email and then hit new custom field, name it uh, like email, always do text for your type and then um, email and then hit create. And that will allow you to save people's emails. Same thing for phone number here, uh, save it as a phone. And then here you would just do phone, phone, text, phone number, create. Okay. And then boom. So now it saves people's emails and phone numbers correctly. Uh, thank you. We'll be calling you an email and you the 25th. Hope it's you. Couple more questions. Now here at this point, this is for a gym, like I said before. So here's where we're confirming if they're a member or not. And then we split them off into different sequences. So then we're saying, you know, are you a current member? Yes, I am. They go into a separate sequence. No, I'm not. They go into a separate sequence. So for the people that were already members, we're basically saying, oh, Hey, thanks so much. You know, we really, um, appreciate your business or we appreciate you as a client. Uh, we'd love it if you could share this post, tag two friends, we'll give you an extra entry. And then for the people that are not members, we give them a special one-time offer. So that is, you know, Hey, do you want to get, you know, on track right now to hit your fitness goals? We are offering a 10 day unlimited pass for 20 bucks. Are you interested? And then they can say yes or no. If they say yes, then we show them, uh, we send them to a scheduling page where they can actually schedule and pay on a Calendly link. If they say no, we say, Hey, no worries. You know, um, you're still entered to win the giveaway. And then we kind of, uh, push them again to tag two friends and share for extra entries. Now, 
uh, something to point out is that if they take us, if they take us up on our one-time offer, the 10 days unlimited for $20, we are 5Xing their chance to win. So it's really, really pushing them to win our, our giveaway and to get them in the doors as quick as possible and get them in the gym and trying out the gym so that we can uh, kind of put them through our sales process and try to close them as, as a client, as a member of the gym. So once that's done, you're going to want to make sure that you publish it. Okay. So publish, um, I can't do this cause it's on a free account, but you'll hit publish and you'll make sure that it's active and that's pretty much it. So what's going to happen at this point is once you go over to Facebook and you go into the back end of the ads manager and you select that post ID and you run it as either a messenger or engagement. If it's, you can really try all of them. I typically just run it as a messenger campaign so that you're going to get people that, um, are going to, you're going to get them to go to messenger. So that's really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get them to messenger. Uh, I would also try running video views and engagement campaigns to really, really pump a lot of fuel, uh, into your campaign and get as many people as possible commenting, sharing, and viewing the uh, video. If it's a video and guys, that is, that's going to do it. I hope that was helpful. I hope that, um, you guys will go and implement this with your clients. Um, this is a really, really powerful campaign. Um, if you can get a really, really strong offer from your clients and apply this strategy, I'm telling you, it will kill it. Um, you know, shoot a quick video explaining the giveaway. If you can put some text boxes in the video showing, you know, Hey, comment this keyword. It will absolutely kill it. If you guys have any questions, you need any help, um, trying to figure this stuff out. If you're having some issues, please leave a comment below and go implement this. I'm telling you these campaigns kill it. I've ran a few of these and they just blow it out of the water. Uh, we've been running this one for about two days and we already have 230 people entered and we've already sold 15 of those one-time offers. So we're already generating cash. And we're basically paying for um, the ad spend for the month. So it's really, really cool. And I really highly suggest you implement these strategies. They will kill it. Your clients will be super, super excited about it. And um, they will they will keep you on as their, uh, their ads manager. So again, guys, if you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.